say as quickly as we can. I know this isn't an A spot watch, but I just take it and snap like that. It turns into the second one. Pretty interesting, right? If I take, say, these two aces and place them on the table, all I have to do is just spring, and just like that, the third ace catches itself. And the last ace, watch. Of all the most 
first bare bones simple version of the ripple shuffle which looks something like this oops i haven't done that in a while okay sorry my bad okay so what are you gonna do is this first take the deck and put it on its uh, kind of horizontal landscape side facing you. What you're then going to do is cut off about half the cards. Okay. Now place them to uh, parallel, uh, maybe a few centimeters, a few uh, inches apart. Your hands are going to come over like this. So you're going to have basically your pinky, okay, your ring finger and your middle finger all on the most uh, sides possible. Okay. So something that looks like that. So you see I have those three fingers on this side, the farthest side. Okay, your thumb is going to be in the middle. So you should have something that looks like a kind of a, uh, a biddle grip is what we call it in our magician's terminology. So that for both of them. Now, what you may find is that the packets uh, don't square up, and this can be difficult, especially when you're trying to do the shovel. If at any point uh, the cards kind of, uh, you know, don't square up or a bit over, over all over the shop like this, say, no problem. Just go ahead and tap them on the table like this to square them back up. Okay, so again, here, cut off about half, come over with your hands, have your three fingers on this edge with your thumb here, and the same thing for the other hand. Next, you want to, uh, if they get messy, square them up. Now, you want to uh, make sure your thumbs are touching each other at this joint. So this is when your index fingers come into play. So what you're going to do with your index fingers is you're going to curl them in like this. Okay. And so it's basically uh, the knuckle, I guess you can say, that's going to really be in the middle of the, each packet. Okay. So once you've done that, your middle, or sorry, your index finger is going to push down and your thumbs are going to lift each packet up like this. So from this side, it should look something like this. So again, you're pushing with your index finger down whilst your thumb kind of makes a kind of a spring. Okay, so do that for both and just practice that. You know, it's going to be a bit uncomfortable uh, depending on what deck of cards you have. It's might uh, might be pretty difficult to do it and the cards might be very difficult to uh, use, especially if you have an older deck. So I'll uh, just get used to, you know, doing this and it might feel uncomfortable, but over time it'll be really easy. So once you have that, what you want to do is just slowly release the pressure of your thumbs. And you'll notice that as you slowly release pressure, what will happen is the cards will kind of start to uh, shuffle. Okay, so let's try that again. So, split. Get your grip, square it up, and push down and lift up, and then slowly release your pressure. Now, what I just did was, you'll, you might enter this situation where some of the cards don't shuffle. Now, the reason for that is very simple, and that's because the cards are too close. So you just want to have a little bit of distance, and uh, the faster you do it, uh, the less likely that will happen. So when you're starting off and you're doing it slowly, uh, the cards may actually do that. So let's try it once more. Okay. Start riffling and try to do it faster, but let go of that pressure. Right. So, once more. 
now you need to do the bridge and the cascade. So in order to do the next part of the shovel, what you're wanting to do is have your index fingers move from their original position. Okay, they were originally right here. And have them come over to this upper side of the pack. Okay. And your bottom three fingers over here, what they are going to do is actually lift up the bottom of the pack. It's like this. Okay. Now from here, what you're going to do is the only thing that's keeping these two packs together are your two thumbs applying pressure in the middle. So now, here's the fun part. What you're going to want to do is actually push the cards down like this, as if these fingers are trying to meet each other in the middle. So you've got to push the whole packet down like that. Now you'll notice as you do this, it uh, requires quite a bit of pressure that you need a, and some force you have to apply with your thumbs over here. So that's okay. Apply the pressure until you have kind of this U shape. is prepared under here so that they're touching each other and once you're here you want to just slowly release the pressure and expand your hands out this way out in front like this your right hand is 
is going to come over and with the pinky finger move the first card forward. Okay. Now what that'll do, that'll leave some space for your next card. So once you've done that, with your pinky moving it forward, remember you want to keep this under cover. Your, the base of your palm is going to come over and of your palm is going to slide out that second card and essentially you'll have it palmed like this. So again, push forward, slide out with your palm and then with your index finger up here, you're going to square that back up and as you do, push your hand forward and then reveal. It's actually really easy to do, so push forward that card out. This pushes the card back as you square it up. So the thing with this is that it's easy to do, but it takes quite a bit of practice to be able to just do it nonchalantly. And there you have it. So I'm pretty sure that's going to wrap it up, uh, but I want to do one more card trick. This is the story of when I visited one of the best magicians in the world. So his name was Di Vernon. Di Vernon is the professor of card magic. So I went up to him one day at the Magic Castle in Los Angeles and I said to him, hey professor, what are you up to? And the professor said that my goal is to be able to take your chosen card, shuffle it into a deck face up and face down, and then by the snap of my fingers, change all cards face up except your card and i said wow if you do that this will be the best card trick in the world so he said okay i'll show you so he took off the deck and what he did was he shuffled it face up and face down like so face up and face down right i said okay and he said, what I'm going to do next is say we choose any one of these face up or face down cards. So let's say I decided to choose the Ace of Diamonds. And he said, are you sure you can choose maybe this three or this Ace? I said, no, I'm confident with the Ace of Diamonds. He said, okay. He said, I'll take the Ace and put it somewhere in the middle. Actually, not exactly. He said, I'll take it and put it exactly in the center. All right. And I said, all right, Professor. What's the plan? He said, watch. When I snap my fingers, every card will go back face up except the card that you chose. He said, don't close your eyes. And just like that, every card in the deck went back face up except... <laughs> 